and welcome to another presentation of Garden State IAA Hoops. I'm Joe Lamy, joined by Drake Hugo and Danny Hogger. Tonight, the Newark East Eagles are going up against the North High Dragons. Danny, your thoughts on this one? Well, the big story tonight, Junior is not in the lineup. We don't know what his status is for the entire game, but he was spotted in street clothes. Overall, a huge blow to the Eagles. There's the substitution on the court. And the Eagles look to make something happen. And that pass is airmailed and thrown out of bounds. Oh, that can't feel good. And so that's the end of the first half. It's the Dragons up by 12. And we'll return right after this break. Attention to the owner of a brand new Kia license plate 2K. I said I'm going in. Hey, y'all, huddle up. Y'all playing. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. This ain't over yet. This ain't over yet. This ain't over yet. This ain't over yet. Settle down. Settle down. We talked about this. We need to keep that knee in check. Nah, I'm good to go, coach. It's my choice. Okay. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Win on three. Bring it in. One, two, three. Win. Let's go, fellas. Let's go. Here's Williams. The 12 point lead is their biggest of the game. And for North High, what a start to the game. Every play executed to perfection, and that made the game look easy. Great job from them all around. Down low. Pass to Powell. And the shot's good. Dillard making the play there. You can tell Dillard has a great awareness for the floor. He spots the wide open man right away, gets him the ball. And the stats from the first half, as favorable as they are, they don't even tell the whole story, guys. It's true. The Dragons looked like they were playing against pylons in that first half. I mean, I know Newark East has more heart than what they showed. Hopefully, Junior's return can remind them how to compete. Outside, Black. Pass to Day. Shot clock at five. Drills it from deep. The Eagles really set Day up well to drain it. KJ, you know he's ready to carry his load on the play, whether starting or finishing it off. Pearl with it. Lack picks him up. And finished off by Jonathan Lack. And a bit of sloppy play to cough up that turnover. Yeah, when you give up a ball in a situation like that, almost always ends in a score going the other way. And credit the D for pouncing right on that opportunity, turning defense into offense. Right side, Day. Jack Coral with the rebound. North High leading. Well, without a doubt, the star of this North High team is Sean Powell. Already going to a major college next season on scholarship. He can do so much. And it's Williams missing. Even without the three ball falling for him, the defense has to be better out there. Yeah, there's no way he should be left that wide open. Well, he's the tallest member of the Dragons, but they like him at power forward. Very fluid mover who can attack in multiple ways. Oh, that's true. At the next level, they'll probably slot him as a three or a bit of a tweener forward. But he's got great talent and form on his shot, and the sky is the limit for this kid. Here's Day. Good. The opposing team gets rough with Day, but he's a tenacious kid, and he won't let them scare him off the shot. Timeout called by the Dragons. Trying to kill the other team's momentum a little bit. Coach was smart for calling that huddle. He needs to put some fresh ideas in his players' ears. They need to switch up their strategy. So it's both teams making a change here. It's Dillard outside. Sousa. Hotkins outside. And a little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. The kick out to Gibson. Pass over to Dillard. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. And he'll go to the line. And that one's on Indra. 
And Junior playing on a weakened knee. You just wonder how long he's going to be able to last out there. Surely they'll want to take precaution with him. That one's also good, so he hits both free throws. And with the injury Junior is trying to play through, I believe he picked it up at the end of last game. Yeah, it seems like an innocuous play where he felt a strange sensation in his knee. Unfortunately, it just hasn't gone away and nagged him since. And the whistle blows as the basket counts. A three-point play opportunity coming up right now. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Clock keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. Outside, Gibson. Pass to Sousa. Back to Gibson. It's Dillard outside. And here is Jones. Shot clock at six to the left wing. And here's Matt Gibson from the arc. Rebounded by Indra. Newark East trailing. Mason, left side. Terrific assist and nice finish. Solid play all around. And it's pretty obvious what sparked this run. Terrific ball movement. The guys are focused on creating opportunities for each other. In this backcourt of the Dragons featuring a pair of juniors, William and Dillard, a lot of talent there, but they can get a bit sloppy at times. Yeah, they're a bit of the wild card factor for this team. You're not exactly sure what you're going to get. Everyone knows Powell is the star, but often the barometer for this school is just how under control the backcourt tandem can play. Got that bucket in no time at all. They needed a run to get back into this game, and they got it. And it wasn't just about getting hot offensively. Defensively, they've been terrific too during this crucial stretch of the game. Outside, Gibson. Pass to Hotkins. Up top, it's Jones. Gibson with it. Back to Dillard. Shoots the three. Nails it from beyond the arc. They needed that. Their lead is getting smaller by the minute. Yeah, really good possession there. They had to stem the tide of this comeback a little bit. Doug Evans for three. That one's off. Miss it. The third quarter comes to a close. The Dragons up on top. They're up by five. And we'll be back in a moment to get the fourth quarter underway. We encourage all to try out the track. Well, as the fourth quarter gets going, you look at this game. Since June... Substitution on the court. Substitution on the court. And here is Jones. Inside. Here's Gibson. Junior grabs the miss. And what a morale boost it must be to have Junior back on the floor. He might not be at 100%, but just having him as a threat out there as a scorer and defender makes everyone feel and play better. Here's Lack. And the bucket counts, and he is on his way to the line to try to make it a three-point play. Coming through in a big moment, Lack taking over this possession and delivering for his team. You love to see it. And the question you have to ask this, guys, if Junior is healthy enough to play right now here in the second half, why didn't he play in the first half as well? Yeah, it's a tough question for the coaches, and the plan might have been to sit him the whole game. But it's hard to sit back and watch your team get steamrolled. Junior probably got the itch, and here we are. Out of bounds, Dragons ball, as North High keeps possession. And here's Sean Powell from the arc. Knocks down the long J. No fear in the eyes of Powell. The bigger the moment, the more he wants to hit that shot. Outside, Black. Returns today. Right there. 
And here comes Day with a much needed bucket. The Eagles trust in their team captain when it gets tough out there. And you look at Powell, just a tremendous athlete. Who does he remind you of, guys? Well, the first guy you have to think of is Aaron Gordon. He has that blend of athleticism and speed and power, too. I mean, that has scouts just drooling all over this guy. He plays like a walking highlight reel. Second one is good, getting both at the line. And it's a two-point game. Nicely done. Without much separating these teams, that's when you have to make good at the line. Sheffield outside. Black. Over to the wing. Now here's Day. Defended by Williams. Down to five on the shot clock. Let's it go from 14. Here's Sheffield proving he's ready to be a starter next year. He handles the pressure well and takes a composed shot. Now here's Coral. Let's go with the three. No good from three-point territory. Regulation has ended and we're headed to overtime. And don't go away, we'll be back right after the break. And with the way this game has gone so far, we should be in for some more excitement as we get going in overtime. So Newark East will get the first possession here. And there it is, the comeback is complete. What an amazing effort from the Newark East Eagles to fight their way back and steal a game that was lost at half. Oh, totally. Credit the fans for keeping the Eagles in this game, staying energetic. But the story of the game has to be Junior, fighting his way through injury to lead his team in the second half. I'll tell you what, the amount of heart that Junior showed in this game, the passion he played with when he clearly wasn't at his best, that's something you rarely see in any sport. Reminds you a bit of the passion his dad played with. And for that, that'll do it for us tonight. An amazing comeback win for the Eagles. I'm Joe Lamy saying thank you for watching another broadcast of Garden State IAA Sports. We hope to see you again. <laughs> yeah! I'm talking about it! Oh, man! Yeah, baby! God, I love watching this! <laughs> Enjoy the moment, Junior. You'll never forget it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, thanks, Arch. <laughs> now remember, rice it, okay? Yeah. Rest, ice, compress, and elevate the knee. No doubt, all week, baby. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. You focus on the invitation. That's all that matters now. Enjoy your night, baby. You earned it. Thanks, Arch. <laughs> remember, rice it.